Hi guys, welcome back to Elite Tech Media Alternative. Okay, so it's officially uh, out. It's officially here. Uh, Oculus Rift ready gaming PC to fit any budget. All right. The Forbes wrote this article, right? I don't really fucking believe in the bullshit. Uh, but I only picked this article just so I can give you guys an idea of what sort of a system you will need if you want to run something like this virtual beast. Okay, so let's get into it. Actually, um, yeah, let's get into it. So we got the entry level mid mid range enthusiast. So parts part list here. All right, let's start with the entry level um, build uh, in Intel and Nvidia, right? So let's start off with CPU. Intel Core i5 5930, not not a K version. 3.3 GHz quad core CPU. Motherboard Gigawatt GA uh, B85M DS3H Micro ATX LGA 1150 motherboard. Memory G Skill um, Ripjaw Series um, 8. Gigabyte 2.4 Gigabyte Stick CDR3 1600 memory. Storage, uh, we can actually get the uh, one terabyte, 7,200 RPM Seagate um, Barracuda drive. I honestly think in this in this budget you can actually fit SSD as well. But this is what I'm saying. You, I don't really listen to these guys that write this from Forbes. But anyway, uh, moving on to video card, it's GTX um, from ASUS GTX 970 4 gigabyte Strix edition. I actually think that you can actually get um. G gigabyte G1 gaming uh, for actually maybe same price even cheaper that's overclocked much faster than this one and I have it myself personally I can run every game on ultra high no problem whatsoever <sighs> okay moving on to power supply Corsair CH uh, 430 volt 80 plus the system is Windows 8 that I that put here uh, and uh, the monetized view of Sonic VX2263 SMHL uh, dash V uh, 76 hertz 25 .5, 21.5 um, inch screen total of $987.42 can, you can actually build much better system than this for the same price but anyway moving on this is AMD all right M, uh, CPU AMD FX3 8350 uh, 4 GHz 8 core um, the CPU Cooler Cooler Master Hyper Hyper uh, 212 Evo, uh, motherboard Gigabyte GA 970A D3P ATX AM M3 plus AM AM3 plus slash AM3 motherboard uh, with memory exactly the same memory as the Intel build, which is just kill rip a Gigabyte 1600, um, exactly the same hard drive as the Gigabytes. Uh, as uh, not gigabyte as the Intel one Seagate Barracuda video card power color Radeon R9 290 for gigabyte, which is actually beastie card. Um, the case NZXT Phantom of 410 white, a mid tower case, power supply Corsair CH um, 600 volt 80 plus bronze certified, bronze certified module, semi module. Um, system Windows 8, a screen is exact, exact the same as the Intel one. Okay, let's move on to mid range. <coughs> okay, uh, moving on, uh, mid range, uh, starting with the CPU again Intel uh, Core i5 4690K, 3.5 GHz quad core, CPU Cooler, Cooler Master Hyper 212, um, motherboard Gigabyte GA Z97 Gaming. Uh, gaming 5 AT, uh, ATX LGA 1150 um, uh, Memory G Skill Sniper Gaming Series 16 Gigabyte 2.8 2.8 Gigabyte Kits DDR3 uh, 1866 Memory uh, Storage We got the SSD drive I believe this is 110 Gigabyte um, SSD now from, from Kingston V V300 Series um, 120 that's actually for the system itself, but you can actually get something different much faster than this this hard drive for, for the same price I actually have this one of these hard drives in my system and they're rubbish. Okay moving on to Seagate Barracuda One terabyte uh, video card exactly the same as before it's um, 
GeForce 970 Gigabyte Strix Edition from ASUS. The case is a bit different, NZXT Phantom 5, 530 full tower case. Power supply is Corsair CH43080 Plus. The system is Windows 10 and the, the screen is different. <coughs> Excuse me. BQ uh, GW2765 HD 60Hz 27 inch screen. Okay, I can actually get for the same price of this, you can actually get 120Hz. If you really want, you just have to do your research. Even if even if it's a second hand, but even the brand new one, you can actually get them. Like they're so cheap, the screens. Okay, AMD build mid range. Um, starting with the CPU as always. AMD FX 8350 4 gigahertz 8 core. Uh, CPU cooler, cooler, uh, cooler master hyper 212 Evo. Uh, motherboard MSI 9, 970 gaming ATX. AM3 Plus motherboard, cost, uh, memory cost, uh, Vengeance Pro 16 gig, DDR3 1866, uh, storage, A50 Evo series 120 gig SSD drive, much better than than um, this one here. Um, for s general storage, same typical Seagate drive, one terabyte, video card, gigabyte, Radeon R9290X. 4 gigabyte reinforced. This card is a true beast. This thing is it's killer. Case NZXT Phantom. Uh, power supply Corsair CX750 volt. Uh, Windows 8. Same screen as above. Okay, enthusiast build. Okay, let's get into this. But this um, Intel Core i7 4790K, 4 gigahertz. Cooler Master H100i, liquid cooler. Uh, motherboard Gigabyte GA Z97 XSLI ATX 1150 motherboard memory G Skill Rip Jaws X Series 16 gig 1866 um, the same uh, Samsung Pro uh, Samsung Evo SSD the same um, storage drive uh, Seagate one terabyte uh, the the graphic card ASUS GTX 980 four gig Strix edition. Again, you can actually get Gigabyte or uh, Windforce Edition is faster than this one for the same price, even cheaper. NZXT Phantom as a case. Power supply EVJ Supernova, 650 volt. Uh, Windows 8. Okay, this screen, I don't know why they picked this one, but anyway. ASUS um, ROG Swift uh, PG27AQ, 144Hz, um, 27 inch. I've heard some really bad issues with this screen a lot of people have reported um this some people ha say it's brilliant some people say it's bad i personally think if you really want a good screen you can go asus rog swift pj27 uh 9q not 8q the 9q is actually much better much better than this and it actually only costs like extra 100 bucks or 150 dollars <coughs> okay MD build, they reckon this is extreme value build. Um, MD FX uh, 9590 uh, 4.7 gigahertz 8 core CPU, Cooler Master H100i, motherboard gigabyte GA 990 FXA UD3 ATX M AM3 Plus motherboard, memory cost of Vengeance Pro 16 gig 1866, um, storage. Boot drive is actually Evo um, from Samsung SSD. The um, storage drive, general storage, one terabyte Seagate. The video card X FX Radeon R9 290 295 times two a gigabyte core edition. This thing is it's a killer. Uh, NZXT Phantom Black power supply Corsair RM 1000 volt fully modular. Windows 8 and the screen here is a bit different. Acer HQ 20, 270 HU 144 Hz 27 inch screen, which is good. Anyway, guys, if I if I were you, I will probably go. <coughs> sorry, I'll probably go with the AMD build. Definitely go with the AMD build because AMD is actually a good value, right? And this same the. Um, uh, this screen is actually much better than the uh, ROG one. That's actually been uh, proven in many reviews. 
But anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have um, kind of kind of got the idea of what you need to get. You get actually, you don't actually need to get uh, actually a, a extremely powerful system. Like I remember reading a few articles and people said, "Oh, to run this on, to run this particular technology, because uh, it's still in the early stages, you need some something like Titan X or maybe another TI or MD Fury." But you actually don't. You can actually get away with with something really cheap that's gonna satisfy satisfy your needs quite easily. You know what I mean? But anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like for more. Thank you.